Here's how to fix if your iPhone 16 is lagging. Now, if you just got an iPhone 16 or an iPhone 16 Pro, 16 Pro Max, and you find that it's lagging, maybe when you type, it basically types those numbers or letters pretty slow or it's lagging, or maybe you open up the camera and it keeps crashing, or you open up various apps and they keep crashing. I'm gonna show you how to get all of that fixed. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the first thing I would recommend doing is hopping into your settings here, tapping on general and scroll to the very bottom. Now, just hit the shutdown button and turn off your phone and then restart it. This sounds simple, but a lot of times any kind of bugs or glitches in the iOS operating system as it's currently operating just by shutting everything down and rebooting them a lot of times fixes those issues. The next thing I would recommend doing is scrolling up and tapping on software update. So just update to the latest version. If you have the ability to update, you can see it's currently iOS 18.1. So again, any kind of bugs or glitches can cause lags or cause issues on your iPhone. And just by updating, a lot of times they fix those bugs or glitches. But let's say neither of those are the issue. The next thing that I would recommend doing is tapping on iPhone storage. Now on here, you're gonna to want to get maybe one gigabyte or two gigabytes of free space on your iPhone. If it starts to run out of space, and especially if you're under say 300 megabytes worth of data on your iPhone, then that could cause a lot of issues because ultimately you're kind of capped out at the space on your iPhone and it's struggling. If that's the case, you can just tap on any kind of app here and you can tap to offload apps that you don't necessarily use or review these large attachments, delete photos and videos, etc. Now, after you go through that process, the next thing we'll do is we will go back here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna scroll down until we get to apps here. And then on here, you can see a number of different apps. So if there's a specific app that keeps glitching out or closing on you, or just doesn't work very well, you can always go in here and kind of reset it. So for instance, messages, if you find that the messages are not working, you can always turn off iMessage and toggle it back on. And you can do similar things for other apps as well. You might want to basically turn them on and turn them off or delete them and reinstall them. Now, another thing we will do is tap on privacy and security here under emergency SOS. And then if we scroll down, you'll be able to see a bunch of different things. Now on here, you can make sure, sure that all of these are turned on if you want them on or turned off if you don't necessarily want them on. So for instance, one thing is location services here. So sometimes location services will slow down your iPhone because basically an app is using your location. You might wanna to toggle that off completely or you might wanna to go to a specific app that is causing issues and turn off location services for that specific app. Now let's go back here and we will tap on, where is it, general here. And then if I scroll down to background app refresh, tap on that, you might want to turn this off completely. So you can see I have it turned off. Essentially background app refresh allows all the apps in the background to be running. And while they're running, they're taking up memory and basically the CPU space or CPU power of your iPhone. So essentially this could slow down everything else while all these other apps are running in the background. So just by turning this off, it helps to free up additional space for or free up com kind of computing power for other apps to be able to run and work normally. Now, if any of this doesn't fix it and you're still running into issues, I would recommend at the very bottom, we're gonna hit transfer or reset iPhone and then tap on reset and hit reset all settings. So essentially bringing all the settings of your iPhone back to the factory default, a lot of times will fix any kind of bugs or glitches within that, which will cause it to kind of slow down or lag. There could be legacy settings in there that you might've changed maybe when you had an older iPhone, like an iPhone 15 or 14 or 13. And those are still those settings, but resetting everything back to factory default will help speed up everything. Now, if you go through all this process and you still find, hey, this phone just isn't working very well, 
then I would recommend taking it into an Apple store. They'll plug it in, they'll run some diagnostics, and maybe you got a faulty iPhone 16 or one that just has issues. They might basically run diagnostics and tell you, hey, it's still under warranty and we'll just replace it with a new one because we find some kind of bugs or glitches in it. Or they might just help you be able to fix whatever issues there are on your iPhone 16. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.